All right, we got a very brief video here. We're going to take out our let's see part number. We're going to take out our hex head machine screws at the bottom of our pin deflectors on our elevator. We have issues here with our those hex head screws vibrating out over time, and then the pin deflectors uh, right up here. These parts right here that actually guide the shovels through them. They get, uh, they'll get loose, their bushing in the bottom will come out, and then the shovels will snag the actual pin deflectors and bend it all up, and then you got a lot of work ahead of you. So this is just a step that we have done to kind of combat that happening to us in the middle of league or some other time. So I can get this all set. One of those. All right, so got our 13 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and extract the extract that bolt and take off some light. All right, the bolt that we're going to take out is going to be down here in the very bottom. You can actually see the head of it right here. This is the bolt we're going to take out, 13 millimeter as well. We're going to extract it. I'm going to keep pressure on the actual pin shovel deflectors here, and I am going to pull that out and put some blue thread lock on it, not red. I wouldn't want to have to torch it to get it back out. I just want a, a better hold than what we have. Alright, so I got the bolt loose. I'm going to keep pressure on it because I don't want that bushing to drop. I'm going to go ahead and set the bolt down. Get this thing real rest. Sorry about it. All the, there we go. Hold it with my hand and set this bolt down somewhere on the ground. Lean it up near the base of the elevator. Put my blue thread locker on it. And I'm going to take that bolt and put it right back in. <laughs> so I can get a little better light here. Get this going. Alright, that's what we do to try and combat that from messing you up in the middle of the league night. I'm going to go ahead and put pin deflector guard back on. So I'm taking into account keeping my pin deflector off my transport band for five, at least five millimeters is what they call for. I go for a little bit more just because when my the weight of my pins hits them and everything. I know we got the same weight pins, but it's just what I do at my house. You can follow exactly by the book or do it the way you want to do it. It makes it easiest on you to not have to go back for stops on your pin setters.
and I'll show you what I mean at the bottom here. So I put it in, as you can see, I'm going to shine light on the inside, hopefully it will show the gap better. See that gap between there? All across the bottom of that edge of that transport band. Get you down here where you can see. That is space to try and put between there. You got to think too, whenever the pins are shoved to the back of the lane, they are going to push down on that deflection board as well. You don't want it so so low, so tight, that when the pins hit against it, they push it into the band and rub it. And you don't want it so high as to where you'll have issues with your pins, the heads, coming through on this side right here. Alright, that is how we thread lock our elevators.